Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to create a card. We're using the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club Kit. It's called Thanks, uh, Thankful Tractor. And this club kit, there is so many different elements that you can create so many different cards with. Um, of course you get the tractor and then the little um, trailer that goes with it. Both are great on their own or you can combine them together and then there's some large, there's a large pumpkin, there's a large gourd. Um, what what I immediately thought was adorable was the corn. because well, One, we have a lot of corn fields here in Kansas <laughs> and I've never made a corn card so I thought that's what we'd, I've made corn, uh, candy corn but not a real corn so co a card so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a card just with the corn today and um, we're going to use the flowers to go with it. Cause, and then there's two sentiments in here that says happy fall and then the other one says thankful. So today's card is quick and easy. I'm trying to get caught up on everything um, but I did want to share a, a card using the thankful tractor. The large die of the month club kit from Spellbinders. So let's jump in and we are going to get some card stock. So our card stock that we're going to be using today is Rainforest. All of these are Spellbinders color essential card stock. So we have Rainforest and Fern, Chamomile, Beeswax, and Persimmon. Now let's die cut some corn, some ears of corn. I think we're going to be adorable. We're going to make three ears. So when I die cut um, the corn out, I'm going to die cut three of each. So we have the first layer of the corn where I use Chamomile for that. Second layer we're going to use beeswax and then for the grassy area around the corn we're going to die cut that out with our rainforest and we have our thankful I'm going to die cut out with my persimmon cardstock and I have the green for the leaves with the flowers and then I'm going to bring in some white cardstock And I'm going to die cut out a couple sets of flowers. And we're going to create a, a corn on the cob card. <laughs> so I have a lot of die cutting to do when I'm done. I will be right back. I have everything die cut out. So we're going to put our dies off to the side. And then we're going to do a little bit of ink blending on our corn on the cob. So I'll zoom in a little bit. And we'll bring in my craft mat. And I'm not going to color, I'm not going to, I'm going to layer these first and then I'll do my ink blending because I just want it on the top. And it might be easier for me to layer it after they're adhered together. So you're just using my tape runner. I'm going to add some adhesive to the back side of the top layer. And I'll just layer. I think these are so cute. And I'm going to do that to all three. So there's one. When I was younger, we lived in Iowa. There was lots of cornfields in Iowa. In fact, my I remember visiting my auntie. This was when we were little. I remember visiting my auntie, and she would have cornfields in the back of her house. And I remember every morning she would walk out to the cornfield, and she would grab one of the ears of corn fresh off the stalk, and then she had a nail like on an oak tree and she would put the ear of corn on the oak tree and then the squirrels, she could look out her kitchen window and the squirrels would just go crazy over that ear of corn and then by the next morning all of the corn around the ear of corn was gone, all that was left was a husk and um, I just thought that was the neatest thing, she'd take the husk off and then she'd turn around and go get another ear of corn. So that's the gift of having a cornfield in your backyard, I guess. <laughs> okay, so our, our layers are done and my rambling is done. So now what we're going to do is I have two of my blending brushes and we are going to use two different colors of ink. I have peeled paint and fossilized amber. We're going to take fossilized amber and I don't think I've used fossilized amber on this brush, but we're going to ink it up. And we're going to go, um, I think we're just going to go off of one side. We're going to go on, we're going to add a little bit of color to the right side of our ear of corn from the bottom over to the, the side. And 
And you know what? I think I want this to be a little bit darker. So fossilized amber's not doing it. So we're going to go a little shade darker. One shade darker on my list is brushed corduroy. And we're going to switch out our blending brushes and use brushed corduroy. It's like a cross between a, a yellow and a brown. And I want just a little bit of highlighting on the side. And I think that does it. So there's one, and we'll finish off with the rest. Okay. After we have our brushed corduroy on there, we're going to take our peeled paint, and we're going to add a little color to our leaves. And the sharper point is going to be the ones that are overhanging. So I'm just going to add a little color. And this is not dark enough for me either. Okay, I'm not having no luck with my coloring today. I want a darker one. So one darker is, instead of peeled paint, I'm going to use forest moss. And then this way we can really highlight the bottom of our corn. Much better. So there's one. Now my ear of corn are shaded in. We get to do some layering now. We're going to use glue for this. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue behind our first one. I'm going to add the one that has the bottom of the ear um, of corn. You have, there's two different kinds. Let me show you. A lefty and a righty. I'm going to add the righty first. And I'm just going to add glue at the base because this way we can layer. I need to get an acrylic block to help weigh that down. Now after we have our first one done, I lowered it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue at the base of this. Maybe a little bit higher. We added, I put a little bit of glue on my left piece and we're going to kind of crisscross them a bit. Like so. I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do this. So there's those. And I'm going to continue with the rest of these. Now that I have all of my first layer done, we have these little pieces. Now I believe these little pieces attach to the back side. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue all along that point of the back on the left. And I'm going to add this. If I'm going to follow the curve of this to this. like so. Looks good. Now I'm going to do the same to the rest. And our ears of corn are all done. <laughs> I just think they look so cute. I just buzz you. Know, we can do it paper. It really does. Now we have our flowers. While we're, we have our glue out, I did die cut out some leaves here. And I have some, I die cut out the flowers with white. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of color to the center of these flowers. I probably won't use them all, but I wanted to add just a little bit of blue. Okay, and then I'm going to use little dots of glue on each one of the ends of the leaves. And we're going to attach some leaves to these flowers. We have our flowers with leaves, our ears of corn, and I put foam adhesive behind everything so we are good to go. All we need is a background. To create our background, we're going to bring in a 
piece of white cardstock. It measures four inches by five and a quarter. And I have, I'm going to bring in a die set I haven't used in a while. This is the Spellbinders Elegant Twist Circles. I forgot how much I love this die set. Oh, I say that all the time. <laughs> so this piece right here will cut out a window. If I didn't use this piece, then it would just have the twist marks. Kind of, let me show you, I have some examples. It would just, I'm gonna create a window like this. And we'll add this middle piece towards the top. I'm gonna run this through my die cut machine. This is what my window looks like. I just forgot how pretty that is. And I'm just gonna keep the rest of this white. Um, I do have a background panel that's a card front panel, so we're gonna take this and add this to our card base. We'll just put a little bit of adhesive. If you need to stretch your colored cardstock, you can just trim out panels. Otherwise, you can just use a teal colored card base. You can kind of see how off my trimming skills are. <laughs> so let's trim this down. Use our paper trimmer. We'll trim off the excess. And it looks like my card base was probably the right size, but my panel was not. So it was either one or the other. <laughs> so there's my card base. After we have this done, I do want to add, this is a real pretty color, but I do want to add a little bit of a color variant in the back. So we're going to do a little bit of shading using some peacock feathers. And I'm just going to use my blending brush. I'm going to kind of mark where I want to do the shading. And then I'm going to add a little bit of color here. And I'm going to fade up is what I want to do. Maybe a smile face shape. Just a little color variant is nice. We're going to, I have some foam adhesive behind my panel. We're going to go ahead and remove the release paper and add this to our card base. And again, this is a little bit smaller than our card base. It's four inches by five and a quarter. So that, okay, I removed the release paper and I don't think I told you the color of the cardstock. This is Waterfall, probably one of my favorite teals. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in the center of our card base. Oops, I'm not there. <laughs> That looks good. Okay, and I have one flower left. I can put that on the inside. And I didn't use the flower centers because we're gonna use some gems. So let's go ahead and put our ears of corn. And I think we're gonna put them, we're gonna tuck them in the circle. And I want them off to the, the right side here. I'll add two and layer the third one right on top. Never made a fancy ear of corn card. I think that's a good spot for it. Now we can add some flowers. Actually, let's add our sentiment first, and then we can put our flowers arrange it around here. I'm gonna put my thankful on the bottom, and I think that's a good spot for it. Okay. For my, okay, for my flower centers, I'm going to use my Spellbinders Crystal Mix Color Essential Gems, and we're going to add, there's, since we have different sizes, I'm going to use, there's some, some wider ones, and then there's some more iridescent. I'm going to use the iridescent. No, I'll use the wider ones. I'm going to use the wider ones. And I have three large ones left, so we'll put those in the larger flowers. I wanted a neutral flower center because I have the peach opalescent um, sequins that I want to add. So our flowers now have centers. And then 
I'm going to, I love that they're in the Ziploc baggie. And I'm going to add a few gems to my little triangle. And let's add a little bit of color here. I'm going to just go ahead and put these back in our little zipper bag. I keep them attached to the, the packaging that it comes in and to do that I have these little clips. I think I got these at Spellbinders when they had them on clearance. They're cute little clips for holding things together. They're, they don't damage the paper, but they're cute little clips. <laughs> if, if they still have them, I'll link it down below. They might be on sale. but. And this will, he's just pacing the desk, <laughs> but that will finish off my project today for the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club kit for September 2022. It's called Tractor. It's called Thankful Tractor, and we didn't use the tractor, but I like to show you guys alternate ways to use the die sets too. So this is a fun way. Just create a window and add some corn to it. I think it's fun, especially if we live in the Midwest. <laughs> I think we would all love these card, kind of cards. Um, anything on that tra and that die set, though, we would all love. And um, before I go, I want to say thank you, and I want to say that I'm so grateful. You have all been amazing and wonderful, and and with your your um, with your letters. I had recently. First, I went to the um, this. Early this afternoon, I went to my mailbox, and I checked it, and it was overflowing. They had to put it in another box again. You guys are amazing, so I need to ship off another box to my mom, which I talked to my mother today. She had actually moved into my sister's house. Um, my sister lives on acreage, so she, so she says it's a lot quieter over there, but she is doing well. Um, today is a good day for her. Actually, um, they just started the hospice process so um to make her a little bit more comfortable and everything is um going good with that but um she got the box and that's why she called me this morning and she was so excited and i was so excited for her because your mail even the outside of the package i mentioned before it was just fabulous so thank you all again, over and over and over. My heart is, is filled with love from you guys because it, your mail really, really is, is um, impacting her. Your, your love, um, it's amazing what your kindness is doing for, for my mom. And I appreciate you all so much. She, she's not as active as she, my mom used to be so active. Her energy level was way high and she used to go she's a go 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 lady and now that um her mind's still going but her body's not going <laughs> so she needs something to do and boy does she have a lots and lots of happy mail to open so i'm so grateful and thankful for you so i'm not going to continue on with this but i just want to say thanks have a wonderful day i am going to be working on the clear stamp of the month club and the embossing folder of the month club that will be coming soon and um i have another spellbinder project that's coming soon but we will um, see you in a couple days have a great day bye bye guys